they're going to build a replacement rocker shaft assembly for a 3306 engine with new CTP parts. First, we remove the valve cover by unfastening all the bolts that hold the valve cover down. Remove the valve cover and set aside. Now that the valve train system is exposed, we remove the six rocker shaft bracket bolts to remove the entire rocker shaft assembly. These bolts also serve as cylinder head bolts and require a significant amount of force to remove. We will now begin to put together an exact duplicate of the rocker shaft assembly we just removed with all new CTP parts. First, take out and organize all our new CTP parts. These parts are rocker arms, brackets, springs, washers, the rocker shaft, and spring washers. Rocker shafts have lubrication holes and must be assembled with the correct orientation. These lubricating holes will go against the area that receives the most loads, in this case, the bottom. So these holes must be pointing down when installed on the cylinder head. We start by taking our CTP rocker shaft and installing the number six or rear bracket. We line up the locking pin hole and install the locking pin through the bracket and shaft, then tap the pin in with a small hammer. At this end, we install the first of the intake rocker arms, a spring washer, a flat washer, and the retaining ring to complete the rear of the assembly. Now working forward, slide the first exhaust rocker, a washer, a spring, a second washer, the next intake rocker, and the following bracket in the same sequence as the original rocker shaft assembly. At the end of the shaft, install the last exhaust rocker arm, washer, spring washer, and retainer ring. Now that our rocker shaft is completely assembled, compare once again with the assembly we removed to ensure that all the components are in the correct position and sequence. The rocker shaft assembly is now ready to install. Remember the following during installation. Lubricate all the parts except for the bolt that goes through the rear rocker arm support bracket. Ensure that the pins on each end of the rocker shaft assembly are in alignment with the holes in the cylinder head. Tighten the bolts in number sequence with the torque specified by the manufacturer. Now we are ready to calibrate the valves.